Good morning guys, so it is a beautiful Wednesday, the sun is shining, it's already 18 degrees outside, it's going to go up to I think 29, I'm super excited about that, but the super sad part is that I'll be indoors for most of it, but at least I'll get out at a decent time and it'll still be warm by the time I get out. Um, right now I am stuck in traffic, I woke up earlier than usual, but I took a longer time getting ready. That's just the typical me, always taking longer, I couldn't decide on an outfit because I knew it was going to be hot, but the office is always cold, so I decided to go with a dress, like a skater style dress, and then um, a leather jacket, so it may work, I don't know. Exciting news that I got a little dash camera holder thing. So I don't know what you call them, but anyways, it's sort of like a tripod that sticks onto your dashboard slash window. I'm super excited. Today, um, what's happening today after work? I have to do a few things and hang out. And then, yeah, it should be a relaxing day. I just feel like my room has been super messy because I tidied it up and then laundry came in and then deciding on an outfit this morning is just a tornado in my room. Traffic really sucks here and I'm probably going to stay I'm gonna stay late at work today to make up for the time because this is ridiculous oh look better lighting yesterday I actually tested out this um, new piece of equipment and I was like I don't know if I'm gonna vlog this maybe I will and I don't think I thought I am but I can insert some footage right here I really think it's gonna be okay to use this thing as long as it doesn't like fall down or anything but I'm super excited about it hopefully it's not rattling a lot because it's hard for it to stay in place because of how the screw is but this is so much better having it hands free <laughs> i'm so excited so then like when i have said friend on this side i can still vlog this sucks Maybe. i'm feeling so bittersweet that my um teaching job is coming to an end because it is an after school program so it only runs from september to beginning of june so that's really soon and it's only a few weeks actually it's really bittersweet because i enjoy teaching the kids and it feels good to give them that extra help that they need if they need it and just kind of learn from them as well and it gives me a chance to practice on my, my skills but mainly i'm gonna miss the students like i really connected with them and I don't know, I'm proud that they've come a long way since the beginning, not that they were terrible or anything at the beginning, but they've all really improved their skills, which is great to see, and I hope that that will continue for years to come with them, because I'm still improving my skills, I'm not perfect at all, and I think that there is no such thing as perfect, and your skills are always going to be improving as long as you work at it, but it will be nice to have some more free time to myself, because right now I only have Sundays completely off and I think that that has taken a toll on me not having enough me time I'm just always on the go and there's always people I want to see and spend time with so it's hard for me to just have time for myself I mean not that I, I don't know how to say no to people it's just that I actually want to spend time with people I do I do have my moments when I'm like guys I'm super tired I, I don't want to hang out or if we do like hang out I'm gonna be falling asleep if you don't mind that then I'll come but like I would rather just stay home, sleep, and like not upset anyone with me being so tired because I'm not going to feel like having a conversation with someone if I'm super tired because I just don't have the energy for it. Not that I don't know how to, it's just I don't have the energy. When I'm quiet, I'm either bored, hungry, or tired. One of those three things. And the majority of the time is because I'm tired. I think I just need to just focus on one job instead of two. Um, if you guys have been keeping up with me, I used to work three jobs and I did that for four months and it really took its toll on me. I didn't realize what it would do. I was working seven days a week and it was so stressful because I honestly had zero time for myself. And I'm saying now that I don't have much time, but can you imagine working three jobs and you know, it's exhausting. And it's not like they were hard labor or anything, but they were more mentally draining more than anything and I just couldn't handle it after a certain point and I actually broke down crying because I was just over exhausted. I really wanted to do it and I wanted to have money put aside for myself for later on because I eventually want to move out and live on my own so 
I have a lot of plans and to get there I needed to take these steps and I'm not saying this is for everyone this is my way of doing it and you know I said in my amount of time and I was like okay you know what I've had enough I can't take this I thought I, I honestly thought I could do it for a year but I made a very good decision not to do that and let one of the jobs go although I do miss it dearly because I love the girls that I worked with my life now I just cannot <laughs> Be handling that um, it's too much and I want to do other things and have time to create my own artwork and working those jobs it was it was difficult it honestly was and I still think that it's difficult now because I don't have much time to sit down for hours on end to create a painting and I really want that because it's hard for me to sit down for 20 minutes stop painting and then come back to it days later or a few hours later like I want to have this continuous flow and I understand that with the painting that I do it needs time to dry whatever take a break but it's not where I'm disrupted I'm deciding when to take a break and it's not that oh I need to go somewhere and I need to do this and I need to help people out like I don't mind helping get people out at all it's just very difficult for me to just get in the zone because I'm always interrupted and it disrupts my flow once I'm out of that zone it's very hard for me to get back in because when I want to paint I'm really excited about it and I'm just go go for it you know and when I'm not feeling it I realize that my work does not come out as well as when I'm feeling very inspired and a lot of people don't really understand that or some people who are close to me are like you can just do it if you really want to do it, you can do it I agree with that but at the same time um, there are moments when even if I want to I'm just not feeling it and I don't know how else to describe it um, Because even my students are the same way. Like, it's not that they don't want to do it. It's just That specific time during the day. They're just not about producing work or they're not focused because other things are going on in their life or they're just extremely tired and you know it, it takes a lot of you know energy to produce something I think and yeah I force things out of myself on a day-to-day -day basis because I do have that 365 challenge that I put on myself and I'm not saying that's a negative thing but I am realizing that there is um, that there are times when I am struggling to find something to draw paint whatever create because I'm not feeling necessarily inspired and I would rather not be doing it and and kind of brew on ideas because what I come out with is not very great and I've been actually feeling that for a while because I don't know what to create and the things that I want to create knowing the amount of time and what I need to do to set it aside and I would love to take an entire week off of work but I cannot do that because I want to save that for vacation time you know what I mean like actually take a vacation and not just paint and I only have a certain amount of days for vacation now that I'm you know working a full-time job and it doesn't allow me to have paid X amount of days off only those vacation days are paid and that's it outside of that like it's on me and I, my pay gets cut when I finish with the teaching job for the summertime I will have more time to myself I won't necessarily have to wake up super early on Saturdays to do my chores because I would have to do that um, before I went to work before I got that done and it was exhausting because you know I, I really needed that time to sleep in and I can't really do that even if I go to bed early during the days it doesn't really make a difference for me and I feel that because I sleep and I still I always feel tired no matter how early I sleep no matter how late no matter how long I get sleep for I am always always exhausted and I'm thinking that I might have um, iron deficiency maybe that's the case and maybe that's why I'm always tired I don't know when I am sitting for too long doing anything or doing very um, little movements uh, for sitting way too long all day that's when I get exhausted people don't realize that when you're just sitting and not doing much it's exhausting it's actually draining um, students who commute for hours on end it's exhausting for them although they may not be running around like sitting there and just not really being active like your body kind of shuts down a bit and it just is draining so that's kind of how I feel like I need my brain and my body be do to be doing different things because I'm gonna go insane if that's all I do but I think with this 365 day challenge I'm starting to realize um, the different styles that I can do or how my style has evolved I become 
I'm very much into line drawing and I'm enjoying how things are looking right now. Not necessarily the things that I'm creating, but um, I'm realizing I have a specific style, which is great because um, a lot of, for the longest time I couldn't figure out what my style is. Um, so I'm trying to merge my ideas and my styles together. I'm still trying to figure that out, but I think this challenge has really helped me narrow it down. But the thing is, I like to dive into so many different things, so it's hard for me to really pick what I want to do because I want to do it all, but I can't be the jack of all trades, you know? I mean, I can, but I would like to, you know, really master something. I'm working on that, and I think by the end of this year, I will hopefully and i'm thinking that i will because so far i've been on a good roll that i will have figured out my style a lot more so than i do now or be very certain about it i feel like my work has kind of been going through phases so we will see how that turns out i think now that i'm going to be having more times on my time on my hands i'm going to be able to really focus on it and produce more not so much rough work more finalized pieces you know the traffic today is actually horrendous and maybe to some people i'm just making up excuses but honestly you would never know and i could say the same thing about other people oh it's just an excuse that they're not doing this and that but really i don't know what their life is like and you don't know what mine is like and i only show you what i want to show you I don't have a camera on me 24-7. And more exciting news, my work just got accepted to the Mercedes-Benz Financial Services. Again, this is my third year going into it. Um, it's a different piece every year. So I'm really excited about that. I had a feeling that I wasn't going to get into it because it's so late that they're telling us. Um, for the last couple of years, it was the end of April that they told us um, that we were accepted. So I thought that I got rejected because I hadn't heard from them and it's already mid-May. But I guess they're doing things a little differently because the show that just happened is actually being brought to another location. So this is another show for me. So I have two artworks that's going to be up for a year. Um, so one's in Toronto, one's going to be in Mississauga. But anyways, I think I'm just going to stop vlogging here in a beret or a scarf. And I figured a scarf would be more suitable just because I think it gets super hot wearing a hat and I think I would wear the scarf more often. 